Introducing Fitworks, a business created as part of our new business venture class. We needed to pitch a business idea, form into teams and create a business for market. Meet our team member, Nicola. Nicola is a fitness enthusiast. She posed a problem that she had encountered in the fitness industry. We formed our team and realised we were all fitness professionals. With this, we began our marketing customer research to build upon this problem, thus starting our journey to creating a scalable and viable business. Through our customer interviews, we identified new problems such as lack of motivation and hectic lifestyles. These discoveries resulted in two major pivots. With these newly discovered problems, we were able to hone in on our customer segments and target audience. It took us 107 in-depth interviews to fully understand our target audience. Through this 12-week process of evolution and learnings, we caused three major pivots which started one group squabble. But through this process, it has left us with a scalable and viable business with six equally passionate co-founders. We are an online fitness company that provides support and virtual contact with our users to help them reach their fitness goals. As our customer personas became more defined, we found that they are heavily present on social media and conscious of looking after their health, but often find it hard to make time to work out. Through an amazing interview with a girl called Jennifer, we were introduced to Kayla. Kayla is a fitness guru that makes a living by creating online fitness and nutritional programs. We looked at why she was successful and thought, how could we grow upon this model? We wanted to make this concept more personalized and our qualified team will be setting personalised, attainable goals, keeping in contact through Skype and offering diet plans. We opted for a tiered subscription model, meaning that our customer base could be greatly varied. Our gold, silver and bronze monthly package price points mirror our customer feedback. So to have a balanced mind and a balanced body, visit Fitworks for more information. Well, good evening everyone. Now, could I get everyone just to stand up please? Okay, now uh, sit back down, please. <laughs> Can I get you to stand up again, please? Sit again. And now sit down. Everyone, give yourself a tap on the back. You just did two squats, and it is great to exercise. <laughs> we are Fitworks, and we are here to help you get healthier and fitter. Now, I'm going to start by introducing our team. We are really lucky to have a team of business and fitness experts of experience through numerous different disciplines. And from our experience, we noticed three big things. People need more motivation to exercise. People don't always know what they're doing in the gym. And people aren't always getting the results they want from their program. Now I'm going to take a step aside for a second. Now let's say you're going to a big event, and you have a choice between a nice tailored suit or just a random suit off the rack. You're going to pick the tailored suit directly to your measurements, yeah? Yeah. You should have the exact same approach to your programming and your exercise. If you have a program designed specifically for you and your goals, it's going to be far more effective than a generic uh, program made for someone else. Okay? And that's what we do. We do tailored online programming coaching to give you everything you need to get your individual uh, goals and uh, fitness goals. Now I'm going to discuss some interesting statistics here. 37% of Irish adults are overweight. 4 out of 5 over 50s are obese. And this isn't through lack of frying. Currently, the Irish are spending 2.4 billion in fitness and sports per year. And the Irish are becoming more aware of the need to live a healthier lifestyle. Now, I'm going to let Nicola talk you through on how we got to this part of our journey. Thank you very much. So, where does this all begin? So, day one, I stood up in the class thinking I had a fabulous idea. And basically, what I was observing in gyms is that people, when they were standing beside a machine, didn't know how to operate it or use it effectively. So I had this idea that if there was a QR code on the side, they could come up, scan their phone, and it would show a video of how to use the exercise and the machine. Well, thought this was a good idea, so we went down to market, interviewed people really enthusiastically, and then, um, yeah, it turned out, as we're now with terms, it was a ugly baby. So back to the drawing board, continue to interview, and just to draw out some kind of ideas that were coming out from, from the interviews. So first and foremost, the first point is, the initial idea, not a problem worth solving. A couple of ideas were emerging and uh, some key ideas. So really, as Marx was saying before, time constraints, lack of motivation. You know, people are quite intimidated when they go to gyms and uh, personal training isn't always an option. So we started to um, reach a crossroads where we had to, a time was ticking away. We're like, right, which direction are we gonna go in? So we were looking at a couple of different things. One was um, online programming and fitness events. 
um, and the other one is uh, physio tools. So basically, as time went on, we had to stop, take a step back, reflect on what we've learned, and basically this is what happened. Screaming pivot, 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 I'm Chandler going, no, no, no. So, anyway, uh, as we went forward, um, subsequently I kind of won that battle, delighted <laughs> with myself. So, we interviewed 107 um, interviews or, or customers, which we were delighted with. And um, so, going forward, anyway, so we now start to look at the market. So, uh, the total market available is uh, 2.4 billion, which Mark has mentioned, and then the served available market is 3.2 million um, over the age of 25 living in Ireland. And then the target market, we hope, kind of within the first year, that we capture up to approximately 1% of this. So, looking at our customer personas, home fitness, over 50s, amateur athletes, gym girls, and also, as was said in our video, they're heavily prevalent across social media. So these are the kind of channels that we would use. But ultimately, our like base platform is our website. And then I'm going to hand back to Marcus. Brilliant, guys. So I'm going to have you look at our website here. And what I'm going to talk you through is a little third tab there is our packages. So we're split across gold, silver, and bronze. So our bronze package here is our more generic program, where it's a 12 week offering for 49 euro once off, and what that gives you is specific to a certain goal, whether that's to run a marathon or just lose weight. You can bundle it up with a nutrition plan for 90 euro. Now our silver package is where it gets a little bit more tailored. That's gonna include a tailored plan with a basic nutrition plan, and it's also gonna include uh, monthly Skypes. Now our goal plan is our concierge model. This is everything you possibly need to succeed in your goals. This is going to include weekly Skype calls where you can discuss your nutrition plan, your food plan for the week. You can get tips on mindfulness, mobility plan, your tailored strength conditioning plan, and so on. So just to give you a quick look at how our business uh, canvas ended up on week 12. We are Fitworks, and we are helping you to live a fitter and healthier lifestyle, balanced body, and balanced mind. Thank you so much for your patience, and I'd love to have some of your questions. <laughs> So who would like to ask the first question? Did you grow them the start of the presentation? <laughs> it actually went side and side. We thought it was a good fit. <laughs> the question we often get asked is uh, how are we going to scale? So a first way of scaling is we want to, obviously you know, with a certain amount of personal trainers, we can only have a certain amount of clients to keep up the client to client to coach ratio. So we'd love to recruit people who are also as passionate as us and have the skills like us. Further on in the future, we're kind of looking into the idea of creating a marketplace to link up good personal trainers and people who are interested in looking to get their goals done. Yes, yourself. So you said uh, two ideas were emerging. What was the other idea? It was um, for physiotherapists. So we were coming up with a problem that people, physiotherapists weren't getting, the, their clients weren't rehabbing properly. So, and that was coming out to that when they went home, they either didn't remember their exercises mm -hmm. or they just didn't have the incentive or the motivation to do it. What's out there at the moment is a, it's really outdated, so we were looking at making it more interactive and videos of your program that would help you mm -hmm. when you go home to see your program through and then eventually save you money from having to keep going back. We find this actually already existed, and then when we were at that kind of development stage, we were thinking to ourselves, okay, do we actually take the step towards the physiotherapy route, or do we hone in on the skills that we all have as a group? Mm -hmm. And that, that's where we decided to go in the direction of the online. Yes, Gary. In, in your customer interviews, did you get a, an idea of how challenging it is to acquire customers? How costly that might be? We found that social media is huge, and already there's a lot of people, more so on an international scale, that are doing it really well with um, online programs and Skype calls, and they reach a huge market. So social media would be the biggest, but a lot of us are within the fitness industry, and all of our clients would be our target market, and they were all very interested, and it was something that they would like a lot of them to complement their existing program because they just weren't getting the full results that they were looking for. So are your customers fitness trainers like yourselves? Or are they no, not trainers, yeah. they would be clients, gym goers. So even Steve Blank himself, he had a cross trainer in the back of his yeah. video mm -hmm. and he also had a Fitbit on. So he is another customer we could potentially reach. Did you get them? Did you get to test your price points with your Weekly yes, we did. We started uh, towards our last few weeks, we started to test these out. And this is something that originally we found trouble with because we wanted to find a level that was 
competitive towards what people would pay for in a gym or personal training, but we want it to be a more affordable than personal training, as personal training can get extremely expensive. So we found somewhere in between that customers are really happy paying for, but it still ended up being worth it for us and the amount of hours that would come into each program. Oh, same question. Okay, thanks very much.